this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. If you have your Harbor Freight cheap job here, you have your circuit board as well. You could still actually work with it. You will put it on the same setting, only you just, for this Harbor Freight one, there is no sound part. You just have your diode. I don't know if you can see it very well. Like this. Um, okay. Then it had a line at the tip of the arrow and then out. Okay. It looks like that is right there for your harbor freight. Okay. So maybe you can see it. All right. It's not going to make a sound or a noise because it's just not set up to. And when you're talking about something that's the price of these multimeters, you're not going to get all the bells and whistles, if you will. But you can still do the continuity test, right? Now, what you're doing with this one is you're looking for the change in the number. Any change from one then you know that it's actually working. So if we go by what we were doing before, and we know that this one in the bottom corner, right here, that's hooked up to this one on the side. When we put our lead on there, as you can see, it changed. That's because they're connected to each other. Another thing, an example that I want to point out is this circuit board is a bit damaged because the copper wire is exposed in this upper corner. And the way I can tell that it's damaged is I'm going to keep my lead right there and I'm going to touch that upper corner. And as you can see, we have a reading. That should be covered. Um, that should not be exposed. So whether or not that's going to cause a problem down the road, I don't know. I could probably actually put some like um, some kind of um, maybe nail, um, clear nail polish or something on there. Something, I don't know. Um, I'm going to definitely research it though. But that's a sign of something that's, and that's damaged and a way to troubleshoot it just by putting the lead there over the exposed copper part and you could tell that is that's doing something that's only when it's exposed like i said you can actually cuss remember this is a trace right here a very short trace is just tracing from this component from here to here that's from the the buzzer, the positive on the buzzer, to the transistor. And those three are the transistors. Okay. So that's the buzzer to the transistor. And three below it is actually the transistor. This is actually, I believe, coming from. So let's just test that one. So I believe this is the positive side of the transistor. See, I don't know this stuff for sure. I'm just going by what I'm getting from the multimeter. So we get a reading. So then that's the positive on the buzzer side. That's very interesting. So that's the positive on the buzzer side. And then if you actually touch this and this, that's actually a positive on the transistor side. Um, I'm not very familiar on how to do transistors, uh, but see, I'm learning. Then this is the middle part of the transistor right here. And... 
Okay, so we have it connecting right here to something else. So turning it over. That's going to be, I believe, the side of the, what the heck is that? It's actually the resistor. Okay, so it's coming from the transistor right there the I believe the middle part of the transistor to the resistor okay transistor to the edge of the resistor okay so like I said very easy ways to figure out what's going to what and how it works And this is with the cheapie. So the way you know how to, and I know you can't see that down very well, but the way you know what's connected with the cheap one is it's going to be a one here on the corner. Say you had a wire. The trace is a wire. So the wire is running and connecting everything like, like this positive is going to connect the other positive component. We get a reading on the other side, a number two. Testing on further, we get another reading two. I just wanted to add that as well, so that depending on which one you have, because when you start off, especially if you're a kid, you're not going to have big, expensive, fancy. Um, equipment like the professional you might have a teepee you know like from Harbor Freight your mother might see a deal at Harbor Freight and decide that she wants to get you a multimeter you know you can't tell people what to get you <laughs> and also college students and also college students people working who just have an interest like me there's a lot of reasons why you may not have the big budget to buy the big fancy tools this was the best I could do as far as paying more money I couldn't get a fluke or that because I don't have that in my budget I'm just want to show you that you could definitely use the cheapy Harbor Freight. I believe I got one free. I got one for two ninety nine. Pretty much the same thing. The other one might be yellow. It might be red. I don't know. It's somewhere around here. But it definitely was appreciated. Especially in today's economy. If you have the cheapie, it's just as good. You just don't have the bells and the whistles. Have a great day. I'm Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.